EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marshall with your outlook for July 1st, 2019. For the first day of the new month, we're going to start off just like we ended the month of June. So today's going to be very similar to what we saw on Sunday. The only uh, notable difference, as you'll see, is much less wind. So it was quite, quite a bit breezy yesterday afternoon. And you're also going to see less in the way of clouds today. So more mostly sunny to full sun that we're going to see today less wind temperatures will be very similar kind of covering near average or maybe very slightly above average uh, but uh, will be a refreshing day once again today and that is because uh, in the upper levels uh, when you're looking at the upper level trough that is still going to be affecting the region today you can still see that uh, a portion of that is still in place we do have ridging that's going to come in here throughout the week and as we move throughout the week here this is looking at upper level heights and you can see these uh uh, the the uh, warmer color is starting to come in here, indicating the ridge is coming in. It won't come in uh, with a bang right away here, but we do get uh, that upper level ridging moving in uh, throughout the week, through the 4th of July and through the end of the week. But the ridge will be relatively flat. So it doesn't. it's not going to be like a, uh, a, a, an extreme heat situation, but we will have temperatures that are going to be challenging the 90 degree mark again on consecutive days. As a matter of fact, some areas, or at least our southern portions of our area, will get into, uh, uh, have a risk for five consecutive days of 90 degrees uh, beginning on Tuesday uh, and going right through the end of the week. So if you look at our Southeast PA forecast, that actually indicates that 90 or above from Tuesday straight through Saturday. And that's because of the upper level ridge that will be in place. But again, it will be a, uh, a, it will be a generally flat ridge. And what I mean by that, if you look at the height lines here, the height contours, uh, the isopleths here that are going, it's not isobars, not to be confused with that. That's the lines of equal pressure. These are lines of equal height, and they're very, very generally west to east oriented here. So just means the entire region is going to be under the influence of some very, very warm uh, temperatures, if not hot. Uh, and again, further north, you'll have, uh, you won't be quite as hot as you will further south, obviously, but uh, Areas to the south here could see five consecutive days of 90. In the middle here, probably, you know, maybe along I-78, you're looking at a couple days, like right around 90, a couple days that are going to be 88, 89. Some days will be 90, 91. So kind of flirting with that 90 degree mark just about every single day through the, through the upcoming week once we get past today. So we get to Tuesday. Uh, with that, though, there's going to be an increase in thunderstorm chances. There's going to be an opportunity for very late tonight and uh, maybe tomorrow morning across uh, the northern areas to see some showers with a front, but further south, we're talking about just uh, partly to mostly cloudy skies and an isolated thunderstorm being a possibility here on uh, on on Tuesday. And this is going to be mainly the theme for the week of the head here is going to be any thunderstorm activity that we're going to have uh, beginning on Tuesday straight through Saturday will be generally diurnally driven. So heat of the day type things. So when convective temperatures are reached in the afternoon, kind of post 2 o'clock going all the way through the evening, you have the risk for thunderstorms coming through. And as you get through the NAM high-res future simulated radar, uh, this is looking at 2 p.m. on Tuesday. You can see some storms here start, starting to fire here in the afternoon that will work its way south. Now, Tuesday I don't see being a severe weather day just because we don't have a lot of instability to work with. So there will be thunderstorms moving through in some areas, and uh, they will have the opportunity for that to move through. But this is just a quick one of these lines type deals that lines that it'll come through uh, during the afternoon, early evening, and then once you get to Wednesday, it's going to be a little bit more on the isolated side because there's going to be a front that's actually going to be over the region. It won't really do too much for the temperatures, but you might have an isolated thunderstorm pop here on Wednesday. But most of the activity should be south of the region here on Wednesday. Uh, here we're going to get ahead of the Wednesday look here. You can see that it looks pretty isolated across our region, not really too much that we're dealing with. And uh, most of the activity is going to be off to the south here, it looks like, with that frontal boundary kind of draped over the region. But that with this, is, this is not the same kind of frontal boundary that doesn't produce, that keeps it cloudy all day. So we're not expecting that. Partly cloudy skies are expected just about every single day. It's just uh, the afternoon and evening you have the opportunity for, for thunderstorms to move through at any time. And that's going to include the 4th of July holiday. As I move ahead to that, you can see scattered showers and thunderstorms moving in late in the day, uh, favoring our central PA counties. We're going to narrow this down a little bit as we get a little bit closer to this because I want to take a look at what the uh, shorter range models, once they come into range and see what they're doing with this on, on the actual holiday. But there is a risk that's going to be increasing every single day going right up through Friday. I think Friday's going to be your busiest day in terms of coverage of scattered showers and thunderstorms. So, uh, but leading up to that, uh, the percentages go up from 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 steadily every single day. Once you get to Friday, it's, uh, it peaks at 50. That probably will be going up by the end of the week as long as that holds. But we do have the here's to look at Friday. Scatter showers and thunderstorms again 
uh, taking up most of the day here on uh, on Friday. So Friday is, is probably your busiest and stormiest day of this entire week. Not necessarily severe. Again, I don't really see anything severe uh, except isolated uh, going up through through Friday. Once we get to Saturday, though, I could see an opportunity for some scattered showers and thunderstorms that could produce some severe weather with the actual cold front moving through. And uh, again, this is going to be the, the Saturday will be the last day, I think, of any uh, organized thunderstorm activity and also the, uh, the, the higher heat values that are going to be challenging 90 or above will end on Saturday, at least temporarily. And then we'll have a Sunday go back down to kind of like what it is today, you know, 84, 85 ish for a high and back to partly, uh, partly cloudy skies. Here, look at, here's a look at Sunday in the global models right now. It looks dry. Front is off to the south. We have the northwesterly flow coming back into the region. So uh, with that, you have lower humidity. So it will be a higher humidity week. Not today. Uh, not so much Wednesday either because we're going to be on the uh, northern side of that front, which is going to be off to our south, and which will keep the focus of those showers and thunderstorms south of the region. Uh, we'll return northward on Thursday is a warm front. And then you have the scattered showers. Here's uh, Thursday, the holiday, right there. This is going to return northward as a warm front, so you could have some late day uh, storms here on on Thursday. And unfortunately, with the fireworks going on and things like that, they might have some uh, interruptions with some fireworks shows, but not all. Okay, so this is not going to be a washout thing by any uh, any stretch of the imagination here on uh, on Thursday on the holiday itself. But there is the opportunity for late day thunderstorms with that heat in place. And that makes it a lot easier when you have the heat and humidity in place. So Thursday will be a heat and humidity day. All right, I think that's going to be a pretty high heat and humidity day. Uh, we'll be increasing on on uh, on Tuesday as well. Back down on Wednesday, back up again on Thursday and Friday and Saturday. Those will all be hot and humid days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then cooler here on Sunday as far as humidity goes with the lower dew points moving back in. So busy week. I know I covered a lot there, and, and, and as I can only condense so much into a six, seven minute video here, but I wanted to get that out to you, get the impression that uh, each day between Tuesday and Saturday, we have the opportunity for late day, uh, meaning after two o'clock, two o'clock onward, each day you have the opportunity for scattered showers and thunderstorms, but not everywhere and not the entire time. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marcher, so that is your outlook for July 1st, 2019. Have a great Monday.